Hello everyone. In this video, we are going to see how to run very simple uh, simulation using OCAD Capture Sys. So here in the background, what you see is a Capture Sys landing page. Once you open this one, first thing that you need to do is to start a new project. So for that, I will go and pick a file menu and from there I will select new and there I will select new project. So in the new, once you uh, go there, there are a few options available to you. So the project name, so you can put some meaningful name for this one. So I will uh, put uh, my uh, name as Resistor Network 1. And then uh, at the bottom you have several options. Uh, you can select these files or oh, an uh, analog or oh, mix analog digital, PC board wizard, programmable logic uh, wizard and schematic. Now here since our objective is to do the simulations we need to select the very first option uh, these files analog or mixed AD. so that is one important step in this activity and then down here you can pick a location to save uh, your uh, file so uh, when you create a project in these files it comes with the number of files so good to have different different folders for you to work on different different projects uh, then uh, I'll choose this one, uh, it's e, uh, EX1. So if you want, you can pick it by browsing. You can find different places to do it. So remember that again, this is very important to have this option selected. That is uh, piecewise analog or mix AD. So I'm going to click OK. So once you do that, it will ask whether you want to create a project based on the previous one or you are going to make a new one. So I'm going to make a new one. I'll pick create a blank project. So now uh, the system is preparing for you to use it. Now you can see uh, the background. So it's like a dot like background. So that is our working area. And also you can see on your right, uh, there are a lot of other tools available here. On your right so these tools you can pick and use uh, for different different activities and area with these dots so this area is your working area and then uh, at the bottom you have uh, another area here so that gives you certain information regarding your project and on top you have different toolbars and so first of all uh, let's uh, decide what to do in this project so let's take a look at uh, a circuit like this. So we will have a battery. Uh, so in these spice terms, we call this VDC. And then we will connect two resistors in series and connect it back uh, to the battery. So let's consider we have 15 or 12 volt battery here. And then uh, resistors, we will have uh, one 10K. And the other one, uh, let's consider it as a 20K. So this is the circuit that we are going to construct. And upon finishing uh, the simulation, what we wanted to know is to know different voltages in different, different places of the circuit and currents to the circuit. And of course, we can even find power dissipation from different devices. And as you all know that if you want to do simulation like this, there should be a, a, a reference. So we need to have a, some sort of ground terminal. So based on that ground terminal value, so we assume that this is zero volts. So based on this zero volts, we can say potentials in different, different places. So that is why we need to have a ground terminal. So there are a few things that you need to follow when you uh, want to do it for the first time. So first thing is that, so I'm going to click this button. So uh, I'll highlight it here, uh, this button. This button is called place path. And also if you want to access this button, you can uh, use uh, key P in your keyboard. So this is what we call place path button. And uh, from that, you can add components to your design. 
now i'm going to uh, click that button uh, so by pressing p in the keyboard you can do the same so here you can see uh, some interesting thing at the bottom so these are highlighted so these are the libraries available i have already added and here you can see uh, the components that i can access from those libraries so if you are going to do it for the first time my recommendation is to get rid of this all the libraries and make use of so uh, so this uh, you need to do only once but uh, in that time you can do it so since everything is selected here i can use this uh, delete button and i'm going to remove all the libraries so once i do that i have remove all the libraries now next step is to add libraries so there are different different types of libraries available for ocad so which are compatible with this particular tool called captchas so here what we want to do is to add libraries which are compatible for the simulation so those libraries comes under folder called pspice so i'm going to add libraries so luckily uh, in my case i'm uh, sending to the correct location so this is where my installation is so it is installed and uh, under uh, drive c cadence then spb uh, 17.2 that is the version i have tools capture library then under the library you can see pspice so this is very important to pick pspice libraries because there are some other libraries also supported by captchasis but having a component from those libraries you can't do any simulation so at this point now what i'm going to do is i'm going to press control key and a button in my keyboard so when i press control a from the keyboard i can get select everything from here so now i'm going to do it so it's control a now i have selected all the libraries and i'm going to load all those libraries to here so now you can see from here you i have loaded uh, all the libraries which are compatible with pspice so that it's very convenient for me to work on this now right now uh, first of all i want to make this circuit so uh, a general uh, procedure is that you keep on adding components so i need to add two resistors so i'm going to add resistors so under part i'm going to uh, write r here so once I uh, write R and press enter, so I can find, uh, you can see that this R slash analog that is being selected. So that is the uh, uh, analog is one of the libraries that we widely use. And from that, I'm going to pick a resistor. So from here, you can see uh, what kind of uh, resistor that we are going to take it. So I'm going to take this uh, component. Uh, I can double click it. So once I double click it, uh, you can see my mouse pointer is changed to a resistor. Uh, it's a uh, resistor is attached to the mouse pointer. So now if I want to do different things, for example, I can use uh, key R to rotate this resistor before placing it. Uh, so that is uh, one thing that I can easily do uh, if I want to. Uh, so I'm going to attach this again. So this resistor, when I press key R, you can see this is keep on rotating. So that is one thing that you can do before placing, even after placing, you can do it. So I'm going to place it. I just want to click it here so that it get attached to my working area. Since I need two resistors, I will put another resistor here. So now I have two resistors, but still my mouse pointer is attached to a resistor. So by pressing escape, key i can get rid of that so what i need to do is to press this escape key from the keyboard i can get away from this uh, resistor now uh, let's say once you place these components still if you want to rotate it you can select them and press r you can still rotate it so the rotation capability is still available and no uh, sorry now uh, uh, i will tell you uh, one additional thing so this working area you can zoom in and zoom out for that you can use keys i and o so when i say i uh, it's getting zoom in and when i say zero it's getting zoom out 
so uh, i press i so it's now it's uh, area is very large so you can see it's zoomed in and i can press o so it's zoom out zoom in zoom out you can uh, press keys from the keyboard i and o right, so i'll uh, go a little bit zoom in version so that i can see uh, this little bit clearly right now uh, next thing what i want is a, a dc supply so if I want to connect this one, I need a DC supply. So before that, what I will do is, so I have two resistors label R1 and R2, and both of them are 1K. So I want 10K and 20K. So changing this is uh, very easy. You just go in, uh, uh, you put your mouse pointing on top of 1K and double click it. So there you can change it. So I'm change, going to change this to uh, 10K. And similarly, I'm going to change the other one to 20K. So this is 20K and the other one is 10K. So don't put space in between, right? Just remember that. So I have two resistors, 10K and 20K. Now I want a, a battery. So that one, uh, you can see VDC. So if you type VDC uh, in your place path, so you can get a DC a voltage source so that comes under for uh, library called sources that's a VDC so this is the circuit symbol so I double click and I'll place it here so then I have a battery also now uh, I press escape to uh, get rid of that attachment now uh, I have a zero volt DC but I want 12 volt battery in order to make this circuit so I'm going to change this one now remember when you change it don't delete the rest of the thing right so i just want to change this 12 volt dc and i'm not going to change anything because those are not just uh, text those are values that are being used by the system so don't delete anything right? okay so then uh, uh, now more or less uh, all the required components are there but we need additional one more component that is the ground connection so if you look at the tool set here you can find place ground so that is the tool available and the shortcut is given uh, within backup that is g so i'm going to press g so once i do that i'm getting a dialog box like this so here you can see there are different options so i'm going to uh, pick uh, this uh, zero uh, voltage so that is by default selected so that is coming from capsic so this is also important you need to select zero ground but there could be different other grounds that are in different voltages so therefore in order to do an easy simulation make sure that you pick zero uh, ground from capsin library so i'm going to place it here right now uh, the required components and grounds power supplies everything is there now what i wanted to do is to uh, do the wiring so uh, in order to do wiring, there are different tools available. So um, what I'm going to do is to use this place wire tool. So that is, uh, if you look at the toolbar on your right, place wire tool. Uh, so the same thing you can access with key W. So if I press W, I can access it. So I'm going to press W. And now my uh, mouse point is changed to wiring mode. So I can click here and uh, then just go there and click here so then uh, that wire is connected so again i can go here click and click now uh, uh, this wire is connected uh, again i can go here click here and uh, maybe i'll connect it here right so these are connected now the ground i'll click it here and click it here so I want uh, to uh, get your attention here. Sometimes if you click resistor here and here again, you might get short circuit and it's kind of very difficult to uh, detect it uh, from the diagram itself. So therefore make sure that you don't do it. Right. So in general, now we have the same circuit just like this. So therefore I'm going to uh, clear all my uh, writing here. So this is my circuit. Now. I will, uh, there are a lot of different types of simulations that you can do with uh, these pipes but uh, what I would like to do is to uh, see the voltage at this point so here anyway we know the voltage is 12 here voltage is 0 I want to know what the voltage that I can 
expect from here. Of course, theoretically, you can do a quick calculation and see what the voltage is here. So it's basically 12 volts multiplied by 20k divided by 20k plus 10k. The other one is 10k. So, uh, so that is the voltage that you expect from here or the potential drop across this resistor. They are the same because you have zero potential here. So let's start doing a simulation. In order to do simulation, you need to create a simulation profile. So there are a few options that you can say. If you want, you can use this create simulation profile button or else you can go to this piece uh, price menu and pick uh, simulations from there. So it's create new simula simulation profile. It's the same thing. If you click this button, you get the same. I'll click this and simulation uh, for a given uh, schematic diagram you can do any number of simulations so here since it is a very basic simulation uh, I will uh, na name it as a branch voltage so you can have different names uh, depending on your requirements uh, I'll just put uh, branch voltage so it's good to put uh, something uh that you can easily understand what it is right so then uh, once you do that you are getting this kind of uh, dialog box so in this dialog box you can see there are different options so under analysis if you click the analysis there are different types of analysis that we can do so here we just want to see the bias voltage so i'll, I'll pick this bias point analysis and click ok because the bias point analysis is the more simplest thing that we can do uh, using piece by so the simulation profile is now created now what i wanted to do is to run the simulation so running simulation is again not that difficult task uh, so for that you can uh, pick this uh, tool uh, uh, play like button and from here i'll click this one and it will run the simulation Okay, so my simulation is finished and on the toolbar, you can see there are three distinct buttons which you can use to see different things. So if you click this V, you can see the voltages in different conductors. So in this conductor, it is zero volts. So in the branch, it's eight volts and here you have 12 volts. So if you drag a little bit these ones, you can see. Uh, so it's a like uh, attaching to the so you can see this dotted line that says it's a, these are attached to the uh, conductors then uh, we can see the currents uh, i so that is these are the currents to different uh, devices so here it is attached to the resistor this one is also attached to the resistor so this one is attached to the battery and also if you want you can see the power dissipation also so here you can see the power dissipation from the resistor is 1.6 milliwatt. From this resistor it is 3.2 milliwatt. And interestingly, you can see from the battery power dissipation is negative because the power is generated from the battery. It's a summation of these two. So this is uh, how you do a bias point analysis. And uh, hope uh, you understand what it is. So now it's time for you to test this one.